it's time for another redesigning logos video. Today we are doing the logos and I've got three logos that you guys have sent. I had so many people sending logos so thank you if you did. Please do keep sending those in because I'm saving them and I'm picking the best ones for like redesign so yeah send those in whenever you like because I save them all but I've chosen my top three so I'm doing this one which is shot by Becca. Becca is a concert photographer she says she does the majority of her work on tour she does portraits from time to time and that's basically it so she's basically a photographer mainly doing events and concerts which sounds really cool. The next logo I have is Cakes by Casey so she makes cakes, cupcakes, and she spells cakes with a K, which I'm very much appreciating. And then the final one is the Celtic Fairy Collection. I thought this one was a good kind of place to experiment a little bit. So yeah, I'm excited to get started. I'm actually going to start with the Cakes by Casey one because I have already been doing some sketches for this. But I lost that footage, so I'm going to show you what I kind of got up to. I went onto Pinterest as usual and I found these different cupcake logos so I quite liked that this was in the circle with the banner and the name it's still quite cute and fun but still looks professional and obviously it's colourful then I also found this one which is a just a line drawing effectively of a cupcake I don't really like this bit at the bottom that seems a bit too like it reminds me of like a French restaurant or something a bit fancy like Italian and I want to keep it fun but I do like the logo on that one and then this one which has got the scroll font which I would like to try so we'll see how I can do that. I have trouble with K's though doing calligraphy and again the cupcake was cute and then this one which kind of is similar to the one above it like this one and this one with the name inside the cake. So I kind of wanted to combine the love heart one with this one and then use the colours from this one. That's why I love using Pinterest because I can look at everyone else's ideas and kind of collectively put it into one of my own. So I did the rough sketch and then on the side, whoop, on the side I did a pen sketch of it and then a little banner which for some reason is nowhere near <laughs> the rest of the thing. And then I thought put this banner underneath maybe and then a circle around it, maybe something like that and make this logo a bit smaller and then write cakes by Casey underneath. That's my idea. So what I did, I sent that straight into my laptop, so I just use AirDrop and having a Mac and an iPad is great because I can just send things straight away. Moving into Illustrator, I have that sketch and I'm gonna just go around it with the pen tool, so I have the wrong pen. I need my Wacom pen, not my iPad pen. And I'm just gonna use this to outline this logo digitally effectively so using the pen tool which is this one up here on the left I'm just going to outline it I'm actually going to make the lines like a really garish red of some sort or pink that'll do so I can see what I'm doing and then just zooming in go around it and then I'll do a circle so up into the shape tool and then if I hold shift and alt it keeps it a solid circle shape so if I don't hold alt you can see that it's all doolally <laughs> if you like um, but if I hold shift it holds it in a perfectly spherical is that the word and then if you hold shift and alt at the same time it draws it from the middle so that's what I'm going to do. For now this is just kind of playing around so I don't usually worry about it being perfect. What are these ribbon tails? Is it that? <laughs> and what I'm going to do is draw half of one like that. I'm just going to move it out the way of here so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to right click, transform, reflect, shush phone. So reflect, I'm going to turn it on preview and then I make sure it's reflecting underneath and now I have exactly the same thing but reflected. I'm going to change them to fill and then I can wait I've done that the wrong way around oh my god this way <laughs> and then change it there we go that's what I needed not the not the wrong way around and then I'm going to group these into a shape so pathfinder and then this one joins them both together so now it's one solid shape rather than two weird rectangle things um so then i'll put one here and then i will again 
transform, reflect and preview it so I can see what it's doing. Reflect it vertically this time so it's the other way. Press copy and now I have an exact version here. So let's say we're just going to keep that banner that colour for now. I actually want to fix this a little bit because there's a bit of a dent there so I'll sort that out later. I'm going to do the background colours a little bit darker maybe and I also am going to move the circle down and I'm just going to fill that in. This is going to be the most random set of colours for now. Um, I really like using Adobe Colour I think that's what it's called for my colour palettes now. I don't know why I'd not discovered it before but it shows you cute colour palettes that work well together and it lets you save them straight to your wall kind of software. So up here on my libraries, so in here is like the selection of colours that I use a lot, like these are the colours from my website and then down underneath I have colour palettes that I found on Adobe Colour um, and downloaded. So like this is a cute colour palette but yeah I've just have got a load of colours and stuff in there which I really like so if you have an Adobe subscription I highly recommend that. Anyway back to the work I'm going to do a little triangle here and then I'm just going to send them back behind the banner. See I knew that banner wasn't straight look at it it's so dodgy I need to fix that. I don't like it <laughs> I don't like the banner I think I do need one that's got a bit of like a curl in it. I'm back I found a banner that I like the look of so I'm gonna just trace around this so now to do the cupcake. Um, and then I think I'm actually going to make this bit with shapes. I'm not sold on this idea. The longer I've been staring at it, the more I don't like it. Oh, I do this every time. Back to the iPad. So I'm going to do Cakes by Casey and I'm going to try that scroll font that I showed you. Cakes by Casey. I kind of like the vibe that's going. So if we put the cake kind of in the middle. Yeah, I like this idea a lot better than the scroll banner thing. I felt like it was kind of restricting me somehow. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I've accidentally left the lighter version um, behind the cupcake, but yeah that's fine so we're going to open this up in illustrator let's start a new canvas let's just put a new one over here let's forget about the other one because that was stressing me out way too much um and let's just put this one on here so first things first um i'm going to image trace it so it's an object image trace make and because mine's just black with a clear background it will be pretty simple it's done it straight away so then i just press expand and then now if i zoom in it's got little blue blue lines on it can you see that hopefully you can i'm just going to ungroup it so shift command g get rid of this box on the outside okay so i put a bit of color behind it and you can see that the middles of the items are coloured so I'm just gonna select those and get rid of them. I'm thinking because Casey had the watercolour background thing behind it we could use that again. Hmm I quite like that. I think it is slightly hard to read. Maybe the orange will work better. Let's try it. In principle these ones are alright. Don't love them. Don't hate them. They're just a bit hard to read. So I'm gonna, I've admitted defeat, let's get rid of this. Let's try these. So these are just stamps from a brush that I got for my iPad. I'm really sorry, but I can't remember where they're from. So I've image traced them, um, which has just made them into vectors. I'm gonna ungroup like before, get rid of the backgrounds. I'm struggling with like what to put uh, in the background of the logo but the logo itself I'm actually really happy with. So to summarise the first logo um, this is the kind of original one on the right and then the one I've created on the left. I feel like it keeps the fun cuteness but still looks professional and you can read it and it will translate good onto different things. 
so yeah I'm I feel like there's things I could tweak for this so let me know if there's anything you would do differently for this one but overall I'm quite happy with the amount of time I spent on that one um I think it's kind of cute and I think with a little bit more um kind of refinement it'll look really good for the next one i'm gonna choose the celtic fairy collection one and i have no idea where to start apart from using a kind of fairy looking font and drawing a fairy so the first point of call for me is going on pinterest and finding some ideas so i'll do this on my ipad um, and i'll show you what i find when i find it so a bit of background for the celtic fairy collection it says we are a small family run business set up in 2017 after winning a fairy house building competition in carlingford well done congrats um our creations stem from irish folklore and mythology our love of nature and wildlife is a huge part of our art so they're all handmade and hand painted crafts it includes robots, fairy doors, fairy houses, sculptures, magnets, rangy dolls, colouring books and much more. I found these designs on Pinterest. There wasn't actually much underneath fairy um, or like fairy logo I searched. It didn't seem to come up with many ideas. So I thought we could kind of adapt these three. These were the ones that stood out the most. I have the wrong pen once again. Thoughts initially of putting the writing in between something that looks like that. <laughs> that's the idea so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just use some placeholder text from illustrator not illustrator procreate um because it now has a text for the new update for now i'm just gonna like i said put a placeholder in because i can find a lot more fonts on my laptop so i'm just gonna keep it in black for now and then i'm gonna do some wings of some sort for here so i'm just gonna use a sketch i'm gonna open a new layer just use a sketching pencil so i could do i like these two wings here so maybe something similar up here that's kind of cute i mean it looks cute in my head i'm not sure if it actually looks cute yet but my thoughts are two wings, a body, a head and a, and a wand. <laughs> like that like it's abstract but it's kind of cute so you could have it like separate for when the text is in the middle of it but then if you want it as just a symbol so like a standalone you could join them together they're kind of cute i like those so let's just open this up in illustrator and i'm just going to do what i did before and draw around the existing drawing So now I have my little leaf shape. Let's just change the color of it again so you can actually see it. That would be very helpful. So now I have that leaf and I pretty much can copy that one for most of them. So I'm just gonna copy it down for like that. Uh, let's overlap it actually. I quite like how it looks overlapped like that. And then again, copy it over here for the body. So thoughts so far, if that was a fairy, its wand would be behind its back. I'm a bit confused and I didn't actually notice that until I drew it all like this. So let's just move them over here. I feel like that stick's a bit redundant. Like why, why have I put a stick on it? I don't know. So we have somewhat a thing <laughs> let's get some font in here well as you've just seen i've gone completely off my initial topic <laughs> let me just show you on google what came up when i searched celtic like this is the kind of thing that came up 
when I searched Celtic, which was all kind of like interconnected circles. They look a little bit like mandalas or man mandalas. Don't know how you say that. That's kind of what came up. And because the brief wasn't specifically just fairies, it's like a bunch of different things like robots. Um, there's fairy doors and stuff, obviously, but it's not just fairies. I've convinced myself it's okay to change it a little bit. Let's find a font. So I want something with serifs. I've been completely in my own little bubble, but I think I've got there. So this is the final kind of design. I've got two options for it. I guess at this point, I would get the client to choose which one they prefer, but I really like how my little fairy turned out. Um, heavily inspired by that one I found on Pinterest, but I've adapted it to make it my own. And then obviously if the client would want, I could add the finders on Etsy and stuff and the address on the bottom. But yeah, I'm very happy with that. So there's the little before and after for that one. I have been at this now for five hours. And in the grand scheme of things, that's all right. But I'm not used to drawing three logos in one day. So my brain is frazzled. So uh, bear with. But the final logo. I've been on Pinterest and I've found a bunch of logos I like the look of slash that I'm getting inspiration from. So this is the original logo. It's got bright colours in and it's kind of like... It reminds me of like a sniper scope um, and then just says shot by Becca inside so it's kind of fun vibrant but still professional so like if you took those colors out from the background it still looks quite professional so I found this which I thought was a kind of a nice variation of a scope um, I could possibly add a few lines to that and make it look similar to the original then this one which kind of halved the circle I like the look of that one too this one is probably the sim most similar in my head to like half in the circle and then having the other half as like a scope and then this one again half and a circle so there's a bit of a theme going on <laughs> in my head of what I'm thinking of so I'm just gonna get a gel pen up how big's that okay and first I'm going to do a few sketches. I'm going to draw a circle. So circle, click and hold, and then it brings up this and you can make it an exact circle. Love that feature. Next, I want to duplicate that circle and make it smaller. This isn't going to be perfect. Obviously, this is just a little test run. And then because I like the idea of doing, chopping a bit off, I kind of want to cut straight through it with a line. And then I'm going to erase half of it and then add some of these lines possibly see that looks cool but then i suppose i could write shot by becca around there so let's just pretend this is font rather than my scribble pretend that's on the line i am going to do it like that so like kind of replicating this one And then I like that this one has the little dashes on it. So maybe draw neat dashes. And then right in the middle. Right, I have a pretty solid idea of what I'd like to go for with this one. Okay, so in my Illustrator, I have my little design and I'm just gonna replicate this. I feel like this is gonna be technically the most simple one. Then let's just get rid of the excess line here so we'll just kind of roughly do it I can sort that out later actually ignore that let's <laughs> let's do it properly come on it's been a long old day Alice but you can do it love that I'm talking to myself at this point like motivating myself you can do it so we have a line I'll copy that line now I need to do these lines. Oh, this one's going to be interesting. Um, and then shot by Becca. I'm going to just do that in a font. I think she did it all in lowercase for hers. Oh no, it's all in capitals. All right, I can do this. So let's find a font that we like the look of. So it looks like she likes paint strokes, something a bit more interesting. I found a font that's called Stupid Meeting. That's probably how I'd feel if I had to go to meetings regularly. And then we can always change that if we want to. So I'm gonna put it on a little bit of an angle. Let's actually change the lines from gross red. Make that a little bit bigger. I feel like it's a nice little nod to the original logo. I 
I've attempted that initial idea. I just think it looks a bit off. So maybe I will go back to this one. Let's just copy over these and then put it back at that angle. I think those lines are too chunky. Reduce those a little bit. Oh, I suppose I need to add this back to a full line. And then I'm gonna draw another circle. I'm gonna empty the thing and I'm gonna use the path thing. Type on a path tool. And then in here is a little thing that lets you switch which side it's on. There we go. I don't know if I'm loving that font, you know, but I'll, I'll get to that. <laughs> and then maybe if I spread it out a little bit. Yeah, the font I'm not loving. And also I think I'm gonna mirror the other logo that I like the look of and just kind of get rid of a bit of this line. I like this. I feel like this is a minimalist modern version of the logo she had and yeah i want to change this font i feel like because i've modernized it a little bit it needs modern font i like that i'm quite happy with that i'd obviously go back to the client and possibly ask if they want any like little stars in it maybe i could add another little circle in this side actually let's let's give that a go shall we add a little circle onto it so i suppose i have two variations now and then again because the original has the kind of watercolor in the background you could always add that in it and make it a little bit colorful but i quite like that i feel like that would look nice in like an instagram logo or like as again like a rubber stamp um on the back of any images she printed or as a watermark i'm happy with that i hope you are again let me know what you change uh, out of the three logos if you got this far in the video well done for one but out of the three which one do you prefer like which remake do you like the best thanks for watching this video i'll stop babbling now i am well and truly pooped from doing all this design work don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you did get this far because there's going to be many other videos like this coming up and yeah i'll see you soon for another one bye